What's up, vegans? We've got the mechanical doping bicycle in a race recently. I'm just reading off the screen here in Belgium. When the cyclocross worlds, when the female, I think it's a female rider, correct me if I'm wrong, 19 year old got busted. She had a motor in her bike, e bike, worm drive, worm drive. I think the worm bike. It's called the worm bike. I'd th love to ride a fucking worm bike. I've got a couple of e bikes, uh, great for motor pacing, training, etc., great for commuting. Powerful. Powerful motherfuckers. The worm drive though, the worm drive bike wouldn't have maybe 100 watts, maybe 100 watts extra. So if you're doing 300 wallabies, 300 watts, you're gonna put out an extra 100 watts, so you're gonna be doing 400 watts, so 25% more power. Big difference, big difference. Especially at top end level. Uh, so I would like to, I think this girl, I mean, cyclocross. I mean, have you raced in Belgium? I've raced in Belgium, man. People will fucking spit on you, throw beer on you. If you're rivaling one of the local Belgium heroes. It's cutthroat as fuck. It's cutthroat as fuck. And if you're a Belgium and you're not winning, people might spit or throw beer at you. Like, you shouldn't be on the race course, blah, blah, blah. And that's pretty shit. But that just breeds distaste among the athletes as well. Because you're training hard, and Belgium's a shitty place to live this time of year. The winter, the cold, ugh. I'd never go back there this time of year. Uh, I had a good time there, though. There's some great people. I'm not bagging the people, but just there's a few uh, it's like any country, you always get races, you got some hecklers, especially when they get some alcohol into them. But it just breeds that, like, mentality of, like, fuck it, man. Why the fuck am I suffering in this cold, shitty weather, making no money, being pack filler? You know? Risking my life. You risk your life. When you ride, ride a bike on tarmac in a race, you're risking your life, man. Breaking legs and all sorts of shit. So, a lot of people eventually go to the point, well, fuck. What am I doing with my life? Money wise, you got pressure, maybe you got a kid, maybe you got a big loan, and you gotta make some fucking coin, man. So you, and then they're thinking, this girl's brother, correct me if I'm wrong, he's been busted for doping as well. He's got a current, on a current suspension, could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but the e bike is an option, isn't it? So I wanna take the juice, get the worm bike on, get the worm bike games. Worm bike. I would love to fucking ride a worm bike. I think this is great advertising for Willia, or the company who's got the worm bike going at the moment. I would love to actually have someone give me a worm bike. Actually, I'd fucking buy a worm bike and go and win the Australian National Cyclocross title. Because if it's that good, wattage-wise, you could win it. And it could be a great advertising campaign. It's like, hey, look, trolled you motherfuckers, you know. Bit of a, I mean, there's, there's so many people in the cycling scene are so, like, they're so rigid and stiff. Like, they fucking clean their bikes with baby wipes, even. It's like, what the fuck, like? Some people just take it a bit too far. And it's, like... Breathe deep, relax, chill. You know, some people just like fucking psychotic, man. Like those people who throw beer and spit at riders in a race. It's just like, what the fuck, man? Go to a fucking street fight or something if you want that sort of mentality. But I think that this person, this, this girl, um, should have just trolled it more. I mean, it's sporting fraud. But there's, what's the penalty for it? What's the fucking penalty for it? There's no penalty financial. You might, you might, might lose it, all right? You don't get a fine really though. Let's, there's no penalty. Like how many millions of dollars did Lance Armstrong make? And how many millions of dollars did Trek make? And Nike and Juro and Oakley, who are still famous because they backed all these dopers, man. All right? And it's every single company with a big name in sport got big because they backed dopers. It's sport, man. It's not just cycling, motherfuckers. It's soccer. Do you think Nike would be as big as it was if we didn't back dopers? Not all those soccer guys and NBA players and Jordan and Agassi and all these people who you all use the gear to get the next level performance. People go, basketball? No, 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 drugs and basketball. Man, are you fucking serious? You gotta have skill. But you've probably never taken performance enhancing drugs. I fucking have, man. And when you take testosterone, and you just want to play basketball. Any sport that requires power, speed, agility, recovery, aggression, focus, stamina, will be benefited, benefit, will you get fucking benefits from taking exogenous testosterone, pinning some tests in your ass, popping a few oxys, man. You will get incredible benefits. So people say, oh, it's just, no, it's not just skill. It's skill plus fucking drugs equals Nike, Reebok, Adidas fucking contracts. You think those Kenyans setting world records doing it just on corn and water? 
The couple of gels, man, he's cut fucking throat. And the sooner motherfuckers understand how fucking cutthroat it is in pro sport and how cutthroat the fucking world is, the sooner motherfuckers can go, oh, there's a motor and a bike. Oh, they took EPO. Oh, you know, this business is fucking usual. Don't be fucking surprised, man. What I like, is, oh man. I don't have financial pressure, all right? I'm retired at 38. I've got no kids, I've got no debt. Everyone's paid for, man. I, don't, I can be honestly open with you. I don't have any sponsors. I don't want any sponsors. Because I'd rather just be able to go, look, this is, this is a product I rate, this is a product of shit. Take it or fucking leave it. But I'm unique. Most people out there are fucking struggling in just to feed themselves, man, or pay the bills, or put a roof over their, their kids and shit. So people, they're gonna go, oh, well, fucking hell, I'm, they're gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. It's life and death, man. It's a fucking jungle out there. So just, all these fuckers who are surprised, like, don't be surprised, man. Everyone at the top, everyone at the very, very, very top is doing whatever the fuck they have to do so you're going to cheer them on. So, right? so don't be surprised. There's no, let's, let's just say I'm 20 years of age and I'm a good swimmer, really good swimmer, and I take EPO and growth hormone and I'm as good as Phelps all of a sudden, who's also on the gear, all right? Let's say I become Michael Phelps on the juice. Juice the fuck best drugs in fucking US history and I'm doing all this training and I'm winning shit and let's say I get busted I don't go to fucking jail I don't go to jail but I've made millions of dollars so wouldn't you risk it earning millions of dollars no risk of going to jail at all maybe if you do it's like six months for millions of dollars and fame for the rest of your life even Lance Armstrong he's got no hecklers on the street no one's balls enough to go Lance fuck you even said in no one's ever heckled Lance face to face on the street. People just talk shit on Strava or Forum, but no one's in society, no one has the balls to go up to someone's face and say, oh, oh, oh. doesn't happen. Everyone talks shit on the internet. So where's the penalty? There's no penalties, man, really. You can make millions of dollars living the fantasy, living the dream, dream life. There's no penalties. So don't be surprised when people do it. It's human fucking nature. Motherfuckers will do anything to win at all costs. Don't be surprised. Santa Claus doesn't exist. Your Olympic champion in big name sport never fucking existed without pharmaceutical drugs. It's business as fucking usual. Usual. Doesn't make them bad people. Just understand it. It's people want to win. And if you want to win, man, you gotta do everything it fucking takes.